Does anybody have a mom? <laughs> yeah, okay, hold on. So, so eventually, uh, as happens when you are as heavy as I was and are, especially if you are doing all the other things that I was doing, smoking, drinking to excess, doing whatever drug anyone would put in front of me, um, <clears throat> eventually I started to have medical issues. Uh, you know, I was 20 years old in this picture, 19 maybe, and I was already a uh, pre-diabetic and I had, I didn't have high blood pressure, but I was right on the line. And, you know, cardiovascular disease was just right over the horizon for me. At 19 years old, you know, I had the internal metabolic profile of a 60-year-old cowboy. I don't even know, you know, it was, it was bad. And, and my mom, uh, you know, eventually I realized, wow, this is all my mom's fault. You know, and, and, and uh, I, I recently wrote a post on my blog called Rage, Blame, and Rejecting the Victim Role. And it's about how for a year or more, every time I got angry at my situation, every time I did something that pissed me off, like every time I went off of a diet, every time I tried to quit smoking and then started smoking again, my, uh, my immediate coping strategy was to go, well, it's my mom's fault, you know, like, and that would make me feel better because it was my mom's fault. And so obviously I was powerless and that's where I would stop. You know, I would, I, it, it didn't inspire me to do anything different. It just gave me the satisfaction that I was not at fault for the situation. So, so I took to blaming my mother. I also, to help me feel a little better about still feeling, being so uncomfortable in my body, in my own head, in my relationships, in my situation, I started to judge all of you. I took the, I took the focus off of how much I hated me and started to think, oh wow, I hate all of these pretty women, they must be dumb, my God. <laughs> All of these gorgeous, you know, they, they smile and they're articulate and fuck those girls. <laughs> fuck them. You know? And it, it was amazing to me, and it still is amazing to me. Like, I'll walk into a room and I still have this, like, I still have this internal judgment thing that I do, and I know that I'm not alone on this one. <laughs> Where, like, I just, I just, my, my brain, you know, and it's, it's all born out of my own sense of self-consciousness and worthlessness and all of that stuff that I still have in me and I will carry forever. The difference is that I don't let it dictate the choices that I make in my life today. And I don't let it control how I develop my relationships and maintain them today. Like that seed of, oh, is still in there, but it is not in control of me.